Hayes Dominion Disc Brake Hose Cutting Procedure. You may need to cut the brake hose for several reasons, including a new install, rerouting the hose on the frame, adjusting the overall length of the hose, or repairing a damaged hose. For Hayes Dominion, always cut the hose from the end nearest to the master cylinder. There are two types of hose end fittings. A one-piece fitting is installed at the factory and in older service kits. Two-piece fittings are provided in newer service kits. The system uses DOT 5.1 fluid. Any spilled on the brake assembly, bike, or otherwise should be cleaned up with isopropyl alcohol. The rotors should only be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol, not disc brake cleaner. Assemble these parts, tools, and PPE, and let's get started. If the master cylinder is already installed, leave it on the handlebar. If the brake assembly is not installed on a bike, you may find it easier to mount the master cylinder to a stationary handlebar. Pull the nose cone away from the master cylinder, revealing the compression nut. You may find it helpful to lubricate the hose with isopropyl alcohol to move the nose cone. Carefully determine and mark the location on the hose where you will make your cut. You need to account for full handlebar and suspension movement when determining hose length. With an eight millimeter flare nut wrench, turn the nut counterclockwise until it can be pulled out of the master cylinder. With one hand, firmly grasp the hose close to the master cylinder and hold the master cylinder with the other hand. Rock the hose side to side until it snaps free. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean up any brake fluid. Using a Jaguar Pro Hydraulic Hose Cutter or similar tool, make a clean cut at your mark. Make sure the fresh hose end is perpendicular and square to the hose. If an internal routing tool was used to install the hose, make sure the section of hose contacting the tool is removed with your cut. Once you've cut the hose to the right length and removed the existing compression nut and bushing from the master cylinder, you can begin installing the new fitting. Place the new olive in the master cylinder with the open side facing out. Thread in the new compression nut until it lightly contacts the olive, but do not tighten yet. Be sure the nose cone is on the hose. Install the barbed insert into the hose until the larger diameter head end is flush with the hose. Use a Jaguar needle driver or similar tool. To help ensure proper seating of the hose in the master cylinder, Mark a line on the hose 18 millimeters from the end of the insert. Push the hose completely into the master cylinder. The 18 millimeter line on the hose should sit flush with the end of the compression nut. Using an eight millimeter crowfoot flare nut wrench, torque the compression nut to 70 inch pounds, plus or minus five inch pounds. As you torque the nut, the 18 millimeter line you drew will be exposed. Slide the nose cone back over the compression nut and you have completed the hose cutting process, including replacement of the compression nut and bushing. Because you have opened this brake system, you will need to properly bleed it. Brake bleeding is covered in our Dominion brake bleeding video. Please continue to our YouTube channel and HayesBicycle.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Hayes.